seniors, there's a lot to do before graduation. While in the Harry See what video games and movies are top in the charts. Why is that kid flipping off the lockers? Fall sports are wrapping up. All this and more on this edition of OTVX. It's hard to believe how fast the school year is going by. Hopefully, seniors are preparing themselves for a huge change in 2014. There's so much to do in such little time, but no need to panic. Here's Bryce Mycrans with everything seniors need to get ready for life after high school. Seniors, fall break is here and you think that this is a time to relax, but for some of you, you really need to be springing into action and deciding on life after high school making decisions about whether or not they want to go to college, if they're going to pursue military or, you know, um, seek employment somewhere, um, each of those. Military, workforce, and heading off to college are the three most common options a student has on deciding what to do after high school. If military is your first choice for after high school, you need to be speaking to your recruiter so you can find out which branch of the military will be best choice for you. The school has multiple recruiters and counselors that are willing to help you make this decision. Now I'm going straight into the workforce, have a job ready. This will prevent yourself from being not prepared and being jobless. That because there are a lot of factors which come into play um, in determining, you know, what the best place and choice for that student is going to be. You know, big school, little school, um, private, public, community college, and the ACT and all college admissions counselors encourage them to apply now. Do not wait um, to apply to get that ACT score. You want to go ahead and start that. So and we are asked to write a letter of recommendation on the student's behalf, but they have not presented us with a brag sheet or a resume. Then we can log on to their ILP without having to have another conversation with that student. Get up. I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights just thinking how you did me wrong. And I grew strong. And I learned how to get along. I'm alive. I'm alive. I've got that chained up little person still in rough with Rose. And I've been told so many nights just feeling sorry for myself. I used to cry. The OC Drama Club presents Wiley and the Hairy Man, November the 7th to the 9th. It's a children's show about overcoming your greatest fears, yet the production will entertain people of all ages. Junior Jacqueline Dyer will bring the main character Wiley to life, with senior Brandon McClure stalking the stage as the Hairy Man. So come out and watch the show. Yours truly will be there. 
Chip. Chip. Some people have so much energy that they don't know what to do with it. Some are even accused of bouncing off the walls. Parkour advocate Zachariah Rumsey runs, jumps, and flips into the story. Free running is getting from point A to point B the most efficient way possible, while parkour, on the other hand, is the art of adding intensity by flipping. Lee parkour is becoming more and more popular around the United States. You can even do it in your own backyard if you would like. Well, yeah, it is becoming a lot more popular. A lot more people are doing it. There's a lot of YouTube celebrities that are starting to you know, become big parkour people. Um, and then there's also a lot of people that don't really know what they're doing and are hurting themselves. But as a whole, thing is becoming very popular. People think it's cool. It is pretty cool. It's very physically demanding. It's you know, spreading throughout the world. Everyone thinks like, hey, parkour, parkour, parkour. parkour. It's awesome. For instance, you can utilize a public park to challenge yourself in this sport. And going from jumping over the bench or to flipping over it. Or even perhaps your house. No wonder so many young adults participate in this unstoppable sport led by courage. Diving into our next sport, we conclude that Many teens have shown an interest in the sport, Lee Parkour, but there are still few that oppose of the sport. This is Zachariah Rumsey, OTVX News. Get up. astounding time is fleeting madness takes its toll it's just a jump to the left are coming to a close already. We want to congratulate our girls soccer team as they advance to quarterfinals state play tomorrow. The Lady Colonels take on Bowling Green at Lafayette at high noon. Garrison Simpson brings us OCHS Go!
I'm Garrison Simpson, and with this segment of OCHS Go, starting us off will be girls soccer. At the district championships, the Lady Colonels established early dominance. They built on it the whole game. Goals were coming in from Bryce Ashby, Shelby Cohen, and Haley Kemper. All of them were seniors. A good game all around. They're all holding on to the undefeated season. Many girls on the team received honors such as All-Region Team after the game. At regionals, the girls played South a second time and again came out on top 4-0 with an impressive three goals in four minutes in the second half. They play in the state semifinals this Saturday in Lexington. The Oldham County cross country team takes great leaps this year with the girls team being ranked fifth throughout the entire state. Led by senior Carolyn Grogan who continues to break the school record for the 5K. She now holds the record at a time of 18 minutes and 24 seconds. The team took a toll with senior Katie Howe having a stress fracture, but she is back in the scene now to run for regions and state. The boys team has also really grown this year with all the top seven returning and has dropped 28 seconds from average time last season. Come out and support us at regionals tomorrow at Tom Sawyer Park. Boys race at two and girls starting at 240. Boys soccer took an early exit from the postseason play with the first round district loss to South. Potential returning for next year would be leading scorer Josh Thomas and starting midfielder Jonathan Huerta. Good job to all the seniors for their hard work on the field and especially great job to Jacob McMurray for season high 16 goals. The season has now ended for the boys golf team and it's all over for three seniors, Steven Estes, Jacob Markham, and Jordan Gates. With no members going to state this year, they have high hopes of doing well next season and look forward to the upcoming golfers wanting to join the team next year. Come out to the football game tonight as OC takes on Jefferson Town High School. It's senior night and don't forget to wear your bright neon colors because it's a glow out. ASB is selling glow bracelets to benefit Susan G. Coleman Foundation for one dollar. Buy yours and get your glow on. Red Ribbon Week starts Monday. ASB will host fun spirit days to increase student awareness about dangers of drug use. Monday is put a sock on drugs, so wear red or mismatched socks. Tuesday is team up against drugs. Wear your favorite team gear. Wednesday is too bright for drugs. Wear a neon shirt or accessories. Thursday is peace out to drugs. Wear your tie-dye shirt. And Friday is Think Red. Wear a red shirt because it's a red out. We all get an extra hour of sleep this weekend as daylight saving times begins. Remember to turn your clock back one hour Saturday night. That ends our time this week. I hope to see everyone at the game tonight. Bring your glow. I'm Lily Fields. I'm Ethan Puckett. Good luck, girls soccer. Have a great weekend, Donald County. Get up. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from its slab began to rise. And suddenly, to my surprise, he did the monster man. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. He did the monster mash from my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electrodes. Then you can monster mash. And you my graveyard smash You'll catch on in a flash Then you can monster man.